Okay, let's move now to the chapter how to design the NSC antenna. In this session, we will talk about how to prepare the antenna before we design it and then how to design the antenna to your PCB. I would like to show you in this context our ST design tools, how to use them. We will talk about the consideration of uh, the metal environment and how to evaluate your NFC antennas with contactless measurement methods. Now, if we regard the context or the composition of an NFC antenna, it is simple, um, the composition of uh, the dynamic tag and its antenna. And this can be symbolized with the uh, uh, schematic like it is seen here on the slides. And on the first shot, we would like to make it more simpler if we can negligible the resistance of the chip and the capacitor and the resistor on antenna side. Now, if we consider this with hand of the equation, we will see that we have here a composition um, of the impedance which is coming from the antenna and called the ZL and the impedance from the ch uh, chip ZC. The summary of them is our total impedance. And if we extract it on a common denominator, then we can say that LC omega n square is 1. What does this mean? This means that the total impedance Z is in this case 0 at the resonance frequency on the LC circuit. And furthermore, the LC resonant frequency corresponds to the maximum current received by the LC loop. There's one notification further that the resonance frequency of the tag should be aligned with the resonance frequency of the reader. With the hand of a simple example, uh, let me explain this. Um, if we have uh, the antenna tuning of the reader and this compared to three different tags, um, we can see here on the example that the tag 2 is corresponding or can um, give the best response to the reader antenna as it is aligned with its, with its uh, resonance frequency. Now, let's move further and discuss about how to design the antenna on the uh, PCB. When we design an antenna on our application, it is about the impedance matching. That means that the antenna impedance must match on the other side the chip impedance. And so, the antenna can be designed in different shapes, which is very dependent on every each application. The major para parameter here we have to consider is the inductance L on the, of the antenna, and this is also depending on the antenna shape itself. On the slides, I would like to show you the different independence of uh, the inductance when we use different shapes. Okay, let's do here an example how to, des how to design the antenna on a PCB. In this example, we will choose the M24LR dynamic device. And this should be implemented in our application. We will choose the dimensions 45 millimeters by 75 millimeters and we target a resonance frequency of 30.6 megahertz. 
Now, here's the procedure how to do this step by step. First, we choose the capacitance of each device. Here in this example, when we talk about the M24 LR, we choose here the 29 picofarad. Then, determine the objective inductance so that we can target to our uh, recommended value of 4.7 microhenry. The next step is, as we uh, did this before, to define the antenna dimensions, which is here 45 by 75 millimeters. The next is to define a test matrix and um, take the calculated value plus or minus 5%. This will help you to uh, do the next evaluations regarding your antenna development. The next step is here is to characterize the antenna coil samples. This can be do with a network analyzer or any other laboratory tool. And finally, we can determine our best prototype. I would like to show you here the ST antenna design tool, which is called the eDesign Suite. It is an easy way to design in your NFC antenna into, into the application by uh, determining the antenna dimensions and all the other parameters we uh, have to use here. Now, what are the uh, major param or the other parameters in terms of antenna designing? Beside the antenna dimensions, we talk about here the number of turns, the number of segments, the conductor width, the conductor gap, and the conductor thickness. What about metal consideration? What happens if we have metal on our applications? Simply, it detunes my or it detunes our resonance frequency to a certain value from the 30.56 megahertz plus X. How does this changes uh, affect my performance on the tech? Simply, uh, it induces the eddy current, it modifies the field strength, and finally, it decreases the quality factor. Now, the way how we can avoid it. The way how we can avoid it is to compensate of the tuning frequency for a future shift and redesign of a new antenna for the new application. For instance, by adding a parallel capacitance uh, value which will shift um, the resonance frequency of the NFC antenna to the um, proper resonance frequency. Let's take here a look now how to measure the NFC, the designed NFC antenna. In fact, we have here two ways. One of these methods is to use a network analyzer which transmits the signal and is able to receive it again on the network analyzer. The second way how to uh, measure the performance of your antenna is to use library tools. Here we have an example of a signal generator and this transmits the RF signal on the other side um, to use uh, a tool like a voltage meter which is able to receive the signal.